Okay, we're going to show you how to use the iPad digitizer clamp kit. When you install the digitizer, you need to apply pressure evenly all the way around to ensure that the digitizer stays on. Um, a lot of people use a clamping method with just a bunch of spring clamps, but over time the digitizer start lifting. So we have a lower piece and an upper piece. The upper piece has a cut here that will prevent you from over tightening and fracturing your screen. So you're going to go ahead and ensure your iPad is turned off. Set it into the lower half. Place the top piece on and start with your two centers. Go ahead and get it aligned where all ten holes are matching. Uh, you're just going to tighten this till it stops. Don't over tighten it yet. And then we'll go ahead and do a cross pattern. Once these are all down, now we're going to go ahead and cinch it up. So we'll go until your bolts don't tight, stop. Just get them nice and tight. You don't want to wrench on them just until they stop. And you're going to go in a crosshatch pattern just so that you apply even pressure all the way around. Now if you wanted to you could go ahead and heat your digitizer before you place it in that'll give it better adhesion now these are all tightened up you're going to go ahead and let it sit here for at least a minimum of four hours this kit also includes a plate for the ipod fourth generation it's real simple you can get these two inch clamps at home depot they're about two dollars and fifty cents per clamp. These are not included in the kit. Once you get your digitizer set back on to your iPod, you'll see a laminate plate here that's a little bit cut in so that you don't rest on the plastic outer edge. Just go ahead and put it face down and place a clamp on each side. And then again you're going to let it sit for at least four hours. It's a very simple but effective kit. Thank you.